Hello everyone, I'm Zhi Zhou from NetEase Games AI Lab. We propose Gesture Master, a graph-based speed-through gesture system. To start with, I will give you some background to show the motivation of our work. Deep learning approaches have been widely used in cold speech gesture generation. However, these methods are limited by the representation power of proposed neural networks. High-frequency motion details of gestures are considered to be noised and internally ignored by neural network. It tends to synthesize dull and blurred motion. Also, these methods lack explicit controllability, lack explicit attention to rhythm matching rules, and have limited generalizability. Graph-based motion synthesis has long been an important topic in computer animation. Motion matching has been widely used in video games, which is the KNN search method. Express gesture built a large corpse of cold speech gestures and selected individual gestures based on predicted gesture parameters given speech audio. Gesture master system is based on the recent Choreo Master publication. Choreo Master aimed at music to dance task. We make some adjustments to Korean Master to suit for the speech-driven gesture generation task. Gesture Master has good countability and is robust and stable for producing high-quality gestures. Next, we will show the technical details of our system. The training dataset includes 293 recordings with an overall length of 18 hours. We segment each gesture motion in training dataset and build a gesture database with more than 6,000 clips range from 1 second to more than 10 seconds. The choice of time interval is a trade-off between human likeness and appropriateness. In our experiments, we use two criteria to choose the hyperparameter time interval threshold. The average time of gesture clips should not be too large, otherwise the total number of gesture clips is small which decreases the diversity of reason of gesture clips in the database and lowers the final appropriateness score. The average time of gesture clips should not be too small. Otherwise, given a speech with same duration, more gesture clips and generations are needed to generate whole gesture sequences, which lowers the final human likeness score. Based on these two criteria, we find setting time interval threshold equal to 0.4 seconds lead to best generated result. There are examples of split gesture clips. Then we manually remove gesture clips with low quality, such as motions with jitter or round rotations. For clips without finger motion, we search and transfer the rotation from finger motion with lowest position distance. For audio clips, we denote rhythm signature. Rhythm signature consists of 32 bits. Bits denote the presence of bits. For audio, rhythm signature is annotated automatically using word-level time information in text transcriptions. We use the present time of each word in text transcriptions and label the bits as one automatically. For gestures, rhythm signature is annotated automatically using speed curve of two hands. We compute the max speed curve of two hands for each gesture clip and record the time of local minima. We suppose the local minima denotes the start time of posing, sharp turning, or stroke gesture and label the bits as 1 automatically. After automatic labeling of rhythm signature of gesture clips, we manually correct the rhythm signature of gesture clips, which the speed curves fail to represent the presence of posing, sharp turning, or stroke gesture. 
The distance between two written signatures can be defined using Hamming distance, the number of bit positions in which the two bit patterns differ. Lower Hamming distance indicates a better match of rhythm between audio and gesture clips. The Hamming distance of this case is 12. Style gestures is a probabilistic model which could generate gestures with different styles, such as gesture speed, radius, and height. We splice these features together as style embedding. We adopt style gestures as a backbone of style embedding network to predict style embedding and select closer gesture clips from database during optimization. It's an overview of our proposed system, Gesture Master. Given an input of audio and text transcriptions, we split them into clips. For each audio clip, we calculate its rhythm signature and style signature using style gestures. Then, the graph-based gesture motion synthesizer module searches matched gesture motion nodes from database with the lowest cost in terms of rhythm, style, and transition. The proposed system, including motion graph construction and graph-based optimization. A motion graph is a directed graph where each node denotes a motion clip in the database, while each edge denotes the cost of transition between two adjacent nodes. In our system, each node in our motion graph corresponds to a gesture clip. In our motion graph, the edge transition cost between two nodes is the sound distance of positions, rotations between joints in transitional frames of two adjacent nodes. An edge is created in the graph is the transition cost between the adjacent nodes is below a threshold. Given audio and text transcriptions, we first split them into several audio clips and we obtain a audio sequence M. The goal of our system is to assign a gesture clip nodes DI in the motion graph to each audio clip MI and to minimize the cost function. The cost includes transition cost, style cost, and the rhythm cost. Style cost is L2 distance of style embeddings. Rhythm cost is Hamming distance of rhythm signature between audio and gesture clips. The optimal gesture motion sequences are synthesized using a dynamic programming algorithm. We handle the transitions in the graph search using slurp interpolation between two adjacent gesture clips. Build up their economy, yeah. Because it's like the poorest country in the whole world. After generating upper body motion and lower body motion separately, we blend the two motions to create a full body motion. We smooth or synthesize the gestures using SG filter. It went, ah, t uh, like talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we chat with her um, almost uh, every night, yeah, every, every evening, because that's like the morning time for them. And, uh, but. Uh, Next, we will show some evaluation of our method. In human likeness study, Gesture Master ranked first and even above the ground truth motion from the motion capture recordings in both full body and upper body tiers. In appropriateness study, Gesture Master ranked first in upper body tier and second in full body tier. We have compared our method to ground truth. They're, they have like a huge golf course apparently, and it's like really expensive to golf there. It's called I don't know if you ever heard of that either, but it's like a castle. It's, it's a castle. It looks like a castle. Like the whole exterior. Yeah. Yeah, it's a castle. It literally looks like it. It's amazing. So that's where we're going to It was actually the cheapest place I looked at. Yeah, so. Uh, I think we're going to go to um, I think it's going to be and hopefully 10 of our friends. So it's not just us, and it's like it'll be like a fun thing. Not like, I mean, I don't mind it to be just us, but 
if we if I go somewhere with him, I'd rather go somewhere that's like doing something. Whereas like if I'm with friends, I want to like drink and like party and like yeah, yeah, right, right, right. So we'll be able to like play beer pong in the pool or like just drink and whatever. Yeah. So Left video yet hours without, right video yet wrong choose. Our system support delete unwanted motion clip and choose another clip easily. We could add extra penalty to edge cost of unwanted gesture clip to delete it or set lowest cost of another clip to choose the specified clip. Here is an example. To do, I haven't, the last time I played pool was in Mexico. That was actually the first time I played pool yeah, in our resort. and. I wasn't very good. There are some limitations of Gesture Master. It cannot synthesize gestures that are absent from the database. In the future, we could do data augmentation to expanding the database. There is a gap between Gesture Master and ground truth in the appropriateness study. A better rhythm embedding module, such as deep learning based method, could be used for better rhythm matching. It cannot handle semantic relationships between motions and text transcriptions. We could incorporate further techniques into our system like NMP modules. Because of imbalanced data, we do not evaluate the appropriateness for the individual gesticulation style of the indicated text speaker in each clip. However, Gesture Master could simply generate gestures for each speaker by building different graphs for different speakers indicating the potential of gesture master to generate individual relationship gestures. Thanks for your listening.